With domestic violence, you know, I did a lot of stuff that I was very proud of, the partnership with the Women's Center. I started a consult service in the hospital so that my peers didn't have to be afraid of getting involved. And once there was an expert to come and do uh, a domestic violence consult, suddenly they could see it, which before it was all invisible, and now we don't have that problem here. Uh, so I recognized that the patient was my, my health system, probably maybe one of the most important patients. Was, was my system, and how could I help it, help people? And so I decided that I was, I was gonna go under bridges, but I had no idea, you know, how to do that. And, uh, and so I, um, this is some of the other interesting places that we have here in Pittsburgh. It was very compelling. This picture speaks to me uh, for a couple reasons. Um, first of all, the juxtaposition of health and and, uh, and lack of housing. Uh, it's been found that it's one of the, if not the largest contributor to, to losing your housing is the decline of your health, and obviously your employment, your support systems, et cetera, fall apart. The, the exhaustion of this person here speaks to me. Um, but then the other part of this that I'll, I can't ignore is the pigeons and the guy with his back turned because people have become other, as you all know quite well. And when you began working with people, even with that earlier domestic violence work I did, uh, people get threatened by the fact that you're working in someone else's reality. Um, with domestic violence it was, well we don't have that problem and it's not my job, which doesn't quite jive. And then of course, well, she goes back, she must want to be beaten. You know, I've tried to work with these people, they're just like that. And so when you begin working with people that are hated, you can become sort of despised by proxy uh, for doing that. And so when you work with people that are out on the streets, um, it's kind of like people saying, well, don't feed those pigeons. You know, they'll just keep coming if you keep bringing your sandwiches out there. Um, and I like to say, you know, the Sisters of Mercy make our sandwiches. And, you know, maybe it's their fault that these people are leaving their housing. The sandwiches must be really good. <laughs> <laughs> People are, they're still.